Hey guys, Greg Harding here, and just a little quick tip for you. Just uh, been working up some images uh, for an academy that I photographed recently, and I came across uh, this particular image um, because, and I thought it was well worth doing this little quick tip for you because uh, you don't get to see this very often, but when it crops up, it's just like massive headache. So um, I was going to dive straight in and show you it. It's just a very, very quick tip, so I'm not going to spend too long. Um, these two principles, there's a vice, uh, an executive principle and the principle. Um, this gentleman here, it's got a nice um, three-piece uh, waistcoat and stuff on, which is, you know, looking good. But this gentleman here with this principle, you can see um, it's got a little small banding just there. If I show you, if I zoom in and show you that banding, it's very, it's a very strange looking um, uh, effect that, that happens occasionally. And it happens with um, the sort of, uh, people that are wearing suits, so like pinstripe suits, and the, um, the lines of the pinstripe suit and the, um, the alignment of uh, the sensor on your digital camera and they coincide and they, they interfere with each other and they're interference lines that creep up and they tend to jump out in the sort of blue channels and a little bit into the yellows. So uh, th this particular effect is called a moire effect and you'll notice it in suits like this or any sort of patterns that sort of line up and, uh, and they have to be a, a very precise um, uh, sort of width apart for it to actually produce this effect. So it's quite it's quite an interesting effect, but it's a pain in the bum to get rid of. Um, until now, because Adobe have uh, introduced a um, uh, a little slider for you. Uh, I know it's been in there a little while, but I've never really had the chance to use it until now. So I'm um, going to give you a quick uh, jump over to the adjustment brushes. You can see in here. I'm using Lightroom uh, adjustment brush at the top here. Just jump in there. Um, you can see all the little control sliders here, but you can see just at the bottom here. You'll see a little uh, a little section called Warre, okay, just for this particular effect. So slide it all the way across to 100. That gives you a little brush to work with. I'm not changing anything, any of the other sliders. And if you then paint over the this a uh, little banding effect. You can see that in a second, if I just do a quick one there, I'll wait for the computer ca to catch up, it will reduce that, maybe even lose it completely for you. I'm just going to paint a little bit more and a little bit more still. And you can see that the effect goes away. And previous to this slide, uh, I'd have to jump in, uh, take this image and jump into Photoshop and then go over to the blue channel and start blurring out the blue channel and it was a real pain in the bottom to be honest so um, having found this I absolutely love this um, this adjustment brush and uh, so just a quick tip there for you I hope that's really useful uh, you can see I've just painted up the other side which will just change in a second once the computer catches up with what it's doing um, and I just zoom out for you, you can get a better uh, understanding of how it affects the image. You can see here it's gone completely, yeah, in there. And you can see that if you just go all the way over the top of uh, wherever the interference lines affect, um, it just gets rid of it. Now just be careful when using this particular brush because um, the brush itself, if you brush over something that doesn't have uh, those banding lines, you'll find that the things start to go out of focus and, and it blurs up. And that's what effectively um, the Moiré brush is doing. It's sort of blurring a very, very small amount of the pixels just to make it sink back into the fabric. Um, uh, but it does it, it does it super well and it's very very effective and so much better than jumping around in Photoshop and then back out again. So uh, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, if you want any other tips or you know hints, then um, comment below and um, and yeah, just uh, come back.
Hopefully I'll have some more for you later. Uh, but for now, thanks for tuning in, and I hope that was worthwhile. All right, cheers, thanks a lot.